Once again, Phil and the players beat out of San Diego International Commission. San Diego Filipinos and other Asians were notably among the estimated 130,000 attendees at last week's San Diego International Commission. But identifying Filipino Americans would rather have because many came as cosplayers, that is, in costumes. Maddie Bell, from Oceanside, California said she just recently started to cosplay and was dressed as Marvel Throws. Asked if she made or bought her cosplay outfit, Maddie replied, I spend a lot of money. I have a shopping problem. Chris Bunny, from Los Angeles was found working at the Cloud 9 Superstore booth just outside the Hard Rock Hotel. He was yelling through a street hazard cone ray imagined as a megaphone. Dressed as a store representative of the NBC Superstore attraction located inside the hotel, Bunny's job was as a sidewalk walker to customers wearing a special NBC wristband that also gave them access to the NBC Bulletin 99, its booth is located across the street. Elaine Bullis and Michael Nylad of this Filipino-American Life podcast said the last time they attended was 10 years ago, when they were given passes at their wedding present. Elaine, later on Friday spoke on a panel Philippines Voices in Podcasting hosted by Diverse Beeson Focus, which was recorded live. All film and panelists, Jim Vidal, Diverse Beeson Focus, Justin, Cousin, Screen Rant, that hashtag show, and JPG, COGK Walk, Network, spoke about the Philippine diaspora, representation, and their movement to spread information, stories and self-education ourselves. Voice after Earl Balon, Tomb Raider series, Pond 3, echoed many on the panel, saying, he has a responsibility to represent our people well. He also brought up the need to find, Wyndham tribe of similar-minded friends who will support each. On Saturday, at the National Geographic Brain Game Perception Slash Party at the Hotel Solomar Rooftop, Dave Barza, Brent Carraza, Paolo Jimenez, Stefan Jimenez and Brandon Salgado, enjoyed the cool night and refreshments, having come all the way from Sacramento. Throughout the commission, many Filipino and film artists displayed their work. Among them were 14, Python, Yearl Devin Castillo, Wakil Cordacio, Genevieve Santos, Arnold Alioc, Randy Reynaldo, self-publisher of Raw Paint Adventures, and the ever-increasingly popular Patrick Baltzroff. A stuffed of brown suit with eyes at furry feline dot com creations was the project of Couple Algin and Siri Alms, born in Manila now living in Dallas, Texas. Use of the word Toby in their marketing gave away their Filipino identity. Also, display Pinate Tara Max and Jocelyn Sanugeo display their self-designed, handmade, adorable mayhem jewelry. Tara said she has done well and is now in her 10th slash slash adorable mayhem dot com slash playing ukulele with his regular meet of group was Anto Lentino, from San Diego. The group is in its third sneaky tighty super beat ukulele sing and play along at commission. They meet up to practice twice a month, at Fast Times Bar in Claremont, a San Diego suburb. For their session, they projected the words and melodic chords on the big screen and encouraged the audience to bring their own instruments but also had a few to lend out. Sunday closed the 2019 with special rapid lending hosted panel food for Asian America featuring Andrea Walter, MC by Design, CB Lee, Not Your Sighted, Wesley Chu, The Life of Halo, Alice Wong, Overwatch, Wade, Jake Choi, Single Parent, Denise Hibbert, The Red Line. Alice appealed with questions about the future of Marvel's new Filipino superhero Wade, and comments regarding Andrea Walter's first film MC by Design now making the film festival circuit. 50th anniversary of San Diego International Commission was hot, crowded and the lines were long but fun and entertaining at the same time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.